I've been having problems with my uh, spectrum analyzer and here's the system info screen shows the serial number and the model number and so forth but I've got an issue where it's uh, not displaying the correct uh, amplitudes for the various harmonics of a signal and in this video I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, uh, that problem. So the way I'll be doing this I'll be using a homemade uh, square wave signal generator uh, here and it's using an SI5351 and it's going to be generating a 7 uh, megahertz uh, square wave uh, it's a r roughly about 7 dBm coming out of uh, uh, clock zero here and that is going to be connected to my uh, SA and as well I've got it connected to my right now I've got it connected to my uh, Siglent uh, 1202 scope and so what I've got it here, I've got the signal coming in here and uh, let me go ahead and change this so it's zero okay and uh, so so what I've got, I've got uh, it doing an FFT and uh, there's the settings for the FFT and I've got my cursor set here and here that's a 7 megahertz fundamental and here's the 21 megahertz um, the third harmonic there and if I go ahead and I change to horizontal mode here I've got uh, and I go and I change my cursors so I come down to the 14 megahertz uh, uh, the 21 megahertz and I come down to the 14 megahertz signal and I look at the delta it's coming out 9.6 this one might be a little bit off a bit so it's coming out about 10 dB 9 or 10 dB the difference between the primary and the third harmonic now if you look at the Fourier expansion and you look at the delta from the fundamental the ratio of the fundamental and the nth harmonic uh, the um, the amount of dB it'll be down is basically 20 times the log of 1 over n so for the third harmonic it should come out to be about 9.5 dB and on the scope we were seeing that it was down roughly about 9.6 uh, you know it's it's of this order so the uh, signal generator is in fact generating a square wave which uh, we can um, predict the value coming out of. So I now have the homebrew square wave signal generator connected directly to the SA. There's no external attenuation and I've got my frequency set from 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. I've got my amplitude. I'm going to set this to 30 dB. There we go. And I've got my bandwidth sent, set to 10 kilohertz. And uh, let's go to the marker menu. And I've got a marker, a delta marker set at uh, uh, the fundamental and the the delta set at the um, third harmonic which is 14 megahertz away and it's showing it's minus 8.8 .8 dB down which is about right so it's showing it's about minus 9 dB down so that looks good for the signal coming in from the uh, homebrew signal generator so I've made a little low pass filter here it's a uh, 7 megahertz, uh, 40 meter um, low pass filter and uh, I'm going to characterize it and feed the square wave uh, through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've got this little hokey uh, uh, pigtail I've got here that I use to connect to the uh, a low pass filter but I've got it uh, shorted out and I've got it connected to my tracking generator port and my RF input port and again there's no 
attenuation connected to it and I'm going to go ahead and set up the tracking generator. So I'm going to keep the frequency the same and keep the bandwidth the same. So let's turn the track, let's set the tracking generator to minus 20 dBm. We've got the amplitude set prior to be minus 30 dB attenuation, so we've got lots of attenuation there. So we're good, we're going to keep the level at minus 20, minus 20 dBm, so we're going to turn on the tracking generator. And it uh, looks as if my bandwidth is too small, so let's move it up to about 10 kilohertz. And there, that's going to be a little bit better. So let's go ahead in the tracking generator, let's normalize it. And let's set our relative position to be 50% of the screen. And there, it's nicely normalized, we've got 0 dBm across. So I'm going to go and uh, connect the low pass filter now. So I've got my low pass filter connected. And let's go and let's take a look at the sweep here. So that's what the sweep looks like. So let's set uh, some markers. So there's marker 1. So let's go up and let's take a look and see how much attenuation 21 dB. So let's start at 7. So there it is at 7. And let's do a delta and let's take it out to 14 megahertz which will be down at the 21, the third harmonic. So right in there, it, and we're getting, we're seeing, you know, there's a quite a bit of, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, noise, or I don't think it's ripple, but, uh, you know, it's you're down, it's roughly about 34 to 36, 38, so it's 36-ish dB it should be down. The filter's going to knock that 14, uh, me, uh, or that 21 megahertz harmonic, it's going to knock it down another 36-ish uh, dB. My homebrew signal generator is now connected to the low-pass filter which is connected to my scope uh, to my uh, 1202 scope here and I've got FFT turned on again and I've got my cursors set so if you look at my two vertical cursors here um, I've got or these I guess are the horizontal cursors I don't know how you want to refer to it but it's showing 7 megahertz here I've got them both turned on actually so let me just turn on here these cursors. So here we've got uh, 7 megahertz and this cursor here is showing the, the third harmonic 21 megahertz. So let's turn on the um, vertical cursors. So here you could see the level of the fundamental and here you could see the level of the uh, third harmonic and we're seeing a difference about 54 dB. So that signal is 54 dB down from the fundamental. And we saw previously with the signal, the raw signal coming out of the um, of my homebrew signal generator, square wave signal generator, the difference here was about 10 dB. Uh, the filter we saw was taking it down about, you know, 38, 36-ish dB plus 10 uh, DB, so it should be down about 48. We're seeing 54. So again, we're seeing a little bit deeper attenuation here, but the numbers are making somewhat sense here. The homebrew signal generator is connected to the low pass filter, and it's now connected. The output of the low pass filter is now connected to my SA, and I've got the exact same setup as before. I've got a delta marker here at uh, the fundamental and at the 21 megahertz, the third harmonic. And you'll see the delta here, it's only minus 34 dB. So it's saying that this peak is 34 dB down from the uh, fundamental, which I don't think is correct. Because we saw in the scope, the scope was saying it's down about 54 dB down. And... Um, 
if we do the math, you know, we saw that um, that peak before it was about 9 dB down uh, without the, the um, uh, low pass filter. The low pass filter generates, you know, an additional 34 to 38 dB down depending where we saw in the noise. So, you know, uh, 10, let, let's just say it's 10 uh, dB plus uh, 34, it should be down, you know, 44, 46 dB at minimum, and we're only seeing it down 34 dB. So, it looks as if something's wrong here. These, the uh, spectrum analyzer is not displaying this harmonic correctly, and I don't know if it's a hardware or it's a calibration issue. And, uh, if we look at the system calibration, we see we've got it set to auto calibrate, which means it's uh, calibrating, I think, every 10 minutes. So it auto uh, calibrates every 10 minutes. So, not sure what's causing this problem. I'm hoping that uh, you might be able to uh, shed some light here and let me know whether you think this is a hardware or a software issue. I don't think it's my experimental setup of my filter. Because you could see there's a big discrepancy between what the scope says and what the uh, spectrum analyzer says. And I would expect the spectrum analyzer to be giving me a lot more accurate values than the FFT on my scope. But the FFT on the scope is showing that um, the ballpark measurement is should be down, you know, 50-ish dB. And this is not down that far.